We have stories out of Inkster and Dearborn, but we're going to begin in River Rouge, where police are currently looking for the person responsible for shooting a six-year-old child. Cameras captured the shooting, and sources say that two men with assault rifles jumped out of a car and opened fire. The little girl was then shot less than a mile away at Renaissance Estates in Ecorse. Tony Kinney was watching his daughter. His daughter... Tonye, she was out playing from his mother's porch when the shots were fired. Tonye was grazed by that bullet. She is currently recovering at home. They said that they couldn't touch the fragments because if they touched it, she might have died because of the arteries. Police believe that this incident is connected to a series of shootings that have taken place at the Ecorse apartment complex. There's a man out charged for allegedly trying to assault two black people and and using racial slurs at them in a grocery store. Take a close look at this man. Dearborn police say Jason Edward Lucas is his name. He approached the two customers at Westbourne Market. It's the one on Michigan Avenue, and they say that he used racial slurs and then followed them into the parking lot and tried to hit them with his car. Well, Lucas is then accused of getting out of that car and trying to hit them with a baseball bat. That those two people were able to get away. Lucas is now charged with felonious assault and ethnic intimidation. There's a new twist in the saga of a man's beloved dog who was shot and killed by Inkster police. Brad Brock says that he's being forced to pay a $700 fine plus $125 in court costs. <laughs> It all started last November when Brock was walking his dog Moose, the Mastiff, without a leash. Moose approached an officer who then shot and killed the dog. Brock filed a lawsuit against the city and police.